Hey everybody, Pam at the Paper Outpost here, just having some crazy wacky ideas with paper and thought you might like to come along for the ride. Okay, so um, I thought we'd do, this is going to be very odd and strange, but I just kind of got a crazy idea going here. I'm going to see if I can turn a piece of paper into a paintbrush. Okay, so here's my idea. I'm just going to take this random piece of paper and I'm going to crumple it. Okay, and now this... I'm thinking is going to be my paintbrush. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some watercolor. Um, it's just El Cheapo watercolor, nothing fancy. Wet it down because I don't want the paint to be too wet. I want it to be more, more pigmenty than watercolory. And uh, let's say find a pretty page. Here's a nice page to do something on. I'm hoping. This, well, the, here's the idea. I want to see if I can make flowers using this as the paintbrush. Let's see. It's very committal. Going, oh, that's kind of cool. All right. Oh, oh, I think I'm liking this. Okay. And I'm just randomly putting these, pressing these down on the paper. There, I got some. I'm going to do some halfers. It's always important to do the halfers. I don't know why. It just is coming off the page. It's like an artsy, fartsy sort of thing. Just roll with it, embrace it, do some halfies on and off. All right, look at that. Oh, you couldn't see any of that because that fell over. Okay, because that I use nothing but the highest quality equipment around here. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we have that. that. That actually turned out pretty cool. I like that. Maybe I could do another, like, same thing but a different color. I think I would like to blend some pink in here. All right, these are going to be different flowers, so they're not the same. I mean, almost, maybe they're going to be somewhere bes that's beside them. They're actually making bigger flowers. Okay, just get a little wet. Maybe it's too wet. Nope. Let's go with the spray technique. I think it's better. Yeah. Gut instinct tells me. Stick with the spray technique, Pam. Um, so almost like an overlay of the base. So it's a little bit of red, a little bit of pink. Um, working along with the botanical design. I mean, this is really... You can't get any more simple than a crumpled piece of paper as a paintbrush making flowers that's where we're that's where that's what it's all come to yeah that's where we're at and it and it's strangely very satisfying i can't even describe i i feel like i really no maybe no i want to use this for something else maybe i'm going to turn it into something we'll see put it aside it's okay um now i could could do you could just leave it as is you wh why does this keep doing that okay did i not tighten the thingy okay uh, maybe i'm tightening the wrong thingy let me try this thingy I'm tighten that thing there are a lot of thingies around here to tighten let me tighten that one okay let's see now if i wanted to put some stems i have a little pointy paintbrush which i apparently didn't wash off bad painter okay dipping in the dirty water because that's what i have available um maybe just going for a little green here not too super soaky wet, just enough to make a nice little fine tip. All right. Okay, so this is, a, of course, in my way. Okay, let me... Okay, here we go. Wherever it goes, just kind of... Just like as the wind blows, you know, these flowers are sort of a little everywhere. Uh, it's almost like a pencil. They don't have to be perfect lines either. They don't have to. It's okay if they skip, miss a spot every once in a while. It's all good. It is. I don't know why it is. It just is. A little more water. Okay. Just a, just a tad. And this is some of the most rewarding. I don't know how to describe it, but if you haven't, you haven't, if you've convinced yourself you're not an artist, you need to stop saying that and Get off the word. It doesn't matter what you call yourself. All you are is somebody having fun with paper and paint, and that's okay. Okay, so that's pretty nice, right? Um, we could do more to it, but I don't know. I just leave loosey goosey. Okay, we'll do one more thing. Um, I'll give the little flowers a center. Maybe I was going to go for yellow, but I always go for yellow. I'm going to try something else. Um, Orange? See, I wouldn't think orange, but I'm gonna I'm gonna do orange. See, I wouldn't I wouldn't think to go there, but I'm going there. Okay, I'm just gonna do dots. Let me see the dots. They're very 
They're barely there dots. They're like, nobody even can see them. They're so barely there. Okay, so it doesn't really matter if the dot is perfect or not, because nobody can see them. Who cares? Okay, but this is really fun. And you could try this on a separate piece of paper if you're unsure how to do it uh, with a regular... Why am I even using this? I could just use the paper. I should just stick with the paper and use... Okay, we're going to do it again. We're going to do something a little different. Let me zoom in a little bit. Get everything out of you. Knock everything out of the way. I know, I know. I haven't cleaned up my desk. All right, whatever. Okay. Here we go. Let's just find a piece of paper. Here's a nice piece of paper. Okay, so I've used this one. I'm going to, I'm going to get another one. I want to do a different shape. Okay, so this time I want to do. All right, I'm just going to crinkle. It's not really full, like like there's no perp, like it's weird. Okay, I, I'm crinkling and rolling. And what I want to do this time is maybe make some leaves. Maybe I can do some. I don't know what I'm going to do. Who am I kidding? We don't know where this is going. We're just going to go do it. Okay, spritzing again, yet again. Remember, rewetting and rewetting your watercolor will not harm them because they're really the ink the paint is not going anywhere it's not even going on the paper that i'm creating here we need more water okay it's gonna get messy that's all right though we're experimenting okay well that didn't that was not, not much was it we need more 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 painties okay this might be weird we're going for it we're going to see what can become of it. Okay, so it shows that you never let lack of a craft supply stop you. Because if you have paper, you can do just about anything, let me tell you. All right, so I'm going to, I'm going to twist this a little bit more. I'm going to get some more design going here. And I'm going to, I'm going to multicolor it. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going, to, I'm going to redo a couple of these with a different color because it just sounded like fun. So that's what I'm doing. Do this, get some more color. This is like a tealy blue, it's kind of pretty. And it's accenting the color. So this is actually looking pretty, pretty cool. I don't know, but that looks kind of cool. Or you could totally leave it just as that. Maybe we'll do one over here, like a smaller one. Okay, okay my, my little piece of paper wants to come apart, but I'm not gonna let it give up on itself. Come on, you got more in you. You're still a paintbrush. You're still a paintbrush. Wet. Okay, this is kind of fun. I mean, just think of all the different things that you could make with a crumpled piece of paper. Well, you have to pick up some paint, dear. Oh, well, I lost a piece of it. That's okay. We're, well, well, you're going to use that for something else. Hold on. Okay. Okay. Just a little one over here. Nothing too fancy. Mama, don't do fancy. We just do basic. Basin can keep it fine. Okay, so maybe I'm going to do the, the other green over here. And this is very um, impressionistic. Oh, yes, this is totally the style I was going for. Now we're going to try the, the smear drag technique. Smear drag, smear drag, smear the bread, smear the bread. Who was thinking that? Somebody out there was thinking that. Okay, that's kind of cool. Um, Two totally different little things. Okay, so now we have this little tiny piece. I am covered in blue paint. Um, teal paint, okay, green, yellow, green, green. Okay, let me just roll that around in there. Let's see. Green, green, green. Okay. Eh? 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 And see, even the, the residue of the stuff that's on your fingers somehow. Is this, I'm just telling myself this, it somehow is working into the design. Okay. Oh, look at that. Oh, that was it. Okay. No, it blew her. Nobody will see. Oh, there. Now we can see that. There we go. Now we're talking. All right. So anything that is not nailed down is a craft supply. We have apparently just proven that even this little piece of paper lint is now a paintbrush. Okay, come here. Finish that off. Okay, okay, liking that. That's good. Hands are messy. Need to do something about that. Grabbing a wet nap. That's my plan. All right, there we go. Oh no, this is pretty. We could use that for something. I know, it's just never endless. I know, I know. That's okay though. It's always good to have more ideas than paper. <laughs>
Oh boy, I hope this comes off the nails. Okay. Um, now I think maybe I'd like to do, can I do hewing? I don't know. Maybe I'm going to need a new piece of paper. Let me try to do a little hewing. It has to be a little fatter, I think, to get the real hue going. It's not looking unlike the pink flower, but let's see what we got. Apparently we need more water. There we go. All right, now we're going to hue with the best of them. I'm going to go for a double color hue. Okay, it's not the traditional hue. Now we're not expecting that because we are using these alternative devices here, these tools of, you know, we don't know what to expect. Whoop, a whole bunch of stuff just fell off my desk. That's okay then. This could be grass. I don't know what this is, but it's something. And you can kind of co-mix the colors because it's not going to damage your tool. And if it does, you just get another tool. Okay. <laughs> this is really, really highly fun. If you have not done this, and I have not done this, if you have not done this before, I highly recommend it. It's very fun. Okay, so I don't know. I just think that's a really pretty page. And it didn't take much just sitting here with the paints, goofing off, having fun. Now, you could amp it up, but I, I actually really like that, and I think I'm just going to leave it as is. I'm going to go into the next thing and do some kind of weird abstract painting like this, but maybe do something different. Let's see. So my little brain can think of something different. We'll make it happen. Here we go. Here's a nice piece. Um, I, no, I think I want to use keep that where it is. Let's see. Okay. Oh, we got that there, that there. Oh, okay, we've got a few pages stuck together. It happens. You know what I mean? It happens. That would be here. Here's a good page. Okay, so let's get another piece of paper. Apparently, I am plentiful in the land of paper. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, no, let me take that. I should have done the whole thing. Let me do the whole thing. I would try for a bigger, a bigger flower thing. Yeah. When you don't know what to do, you make flowers. Because everything sort of looks like a flower in the end at some point. I would say flatten it out a little bit. It might, it might work better. I'm just thinking is what I'm learning here as I go. Okay, that looks like a weird rose of some sort. So maybe what color should we make our rose? Well, let's do a red. Maybe we'll do red and purple or something. I don't know what we're going to do. But the whole thing is not too much water, but enough because you really want to get focus on more pigment. So we've got a lot of plop of pigment on there. Okay. Oh, that's pretty. Okay. Wait. Uh, that would be doing the same thing. No, I want to do something different. So I'm going to actually make this is one petal. I declare that is one petal. There is one petal. And there is one petal. Ah, okay. So you can use it as a whole flower or as one petal. I'm going to dig in the red and also cross pollinate in the pink because it's my paints and I can do it. I got something else in there too. Don't know what that is. One. Oh, that's kind of cool. Two. Oh, that's neat. Three. Maybe it's four. Maybe this one has four. Need more. Four. Okay. Okay. Now we're, this is something different. Yeah, still don't know what it is, but we're going to have bigger flowers on this page. Oh, yes. Come back here, my love. All right. We'll try again. We're going in. Okay. Let's do. Oops. Excuse me. Pardon me. Oh, my papers are falling apart, but it's still fun. Pink. We'll throw a little orange in there this time. Why not? Um, here, one. Oh, that's pretty. Two, three, four. Okay, now yeah, I know what you're saying. They don't look like flowers, man. It looks like a, a whole heck of a hoot nanny mask, but maybe there's a way we can make them look like more flowers. And I have an idea, so we'll try. Okay, just work, work with me here. Okay, one. One. Oh, yep. Half the paper went down. That's okay. It's a casualty. We knew there were going to be casualties. All right, there we go. There we go. Okay, now you're saying like, Pam, it looks like a, like a, a makeup bloody mess here with like somebody through. Just have a little faith, for goodness sakes. Get all excited on me for next, for no reason. Settle down. I want everybody to settle down until we have some fun here. Okay. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is going to take my aquarelle a bowl. Stabilo pencil, water soluble graphite in black, 8046. And we're going to give some shape to the uh, unusual things that are going on here. So we are going to pull the eye 
I'm going to draw these first and see if that does it or, or do I need to wet it? I think we might wet it. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah, we're going to have some fun here. And we remember, if it all goes south, we can cover it up or tear it out. There's nothing major on the side that I can't handle, so we're going to be okay. I have faith here. Um, we are stretching the old imaginative envelope today, going into strange locales. No, not what we're doing. We're just doing it. And this can be like anything we want it to be. It's going to be like a big pansy flower or something at the bottom. All right, and so that means we're going to need a Q-tip. So I will go get a Q-tip, which is right here. I have the Q-tip in hand, ready to go. Rocking this. We have our water. Oh, I have a, a bottle, a cup of water here. Nice, good old dirty paint water will work just fine. So this is going to cause actually the watercolor and the pencil to dissolve and commingle a bit. We're just having fun introducing the two. It's like a first date. You know each other, getting to know each other. Hmm. All right. Okay, here we go. All right, so now we have some defined flowerage. It's looking a little more flower-like, okay? Work with me here. Now let's maybe put some, you know, I think I'm just gonna use the black to make center, you know, like do something like this, almost poppy-like. Yeah, boy, this, I cannot tell you what joy I'm experiencing right now. It's like on another level. It's like getting lost in the process, just having fun, letting go, not thinking too seriously about anything and making weird doodles with paint and paper. This is so weird, but it is fun. I think that's actually kind of pretty. And you know, I can't please everybody. I've learned that and I've let go. Okay, whoop, okay. You don't even have to wet these, but you can if you want, and I guess I am, to say I did. Just smoosh them out a little bit. Okay, smoosh blend, smoosh blend, very nice. And, it, and maybe you want some sticks. You know, flower sticks. Flower sticks. You know what I mean. The sticks on the flowers. The sticky things. They, they have. They all have them. Uh, unless they're ground flowers, I guess. But um, I need something dark here. Brown. Okay. That's kind of cool. Oh, yeah. You need a little more enhancement. Enhance it somewhere. I put a little bit of brown paint on this. On there. Okay, everybody got a stem? Everybody's got a stem. We're good. So that's kind of cool. You know what I mean? Um, so now we have these weird little entities. And, and um, so I'm going to go into the last section. Let's see if we can make something with the little entities. So we're kind of go we're going out there. Who are, who are we kidding? We are out there. We are totally out there. Um, I don't know if I can open them up. We'll see. See what they look like when they, oh, they do tear. They do tear. Maybe we could do a little collage or something like that. That might be pretty. Or oh, this could be like a little corner design. That has a corner design already. We could put that there. That's kind of cool. Well, we could also make a design or something out of it. What is this? Ooh, look at you. You're really pretty. Right, but you're on the same paper. We can't do that. No, maybe here. Well, oh, that looks kind of cool. Okay, maybe this is going to be the uh, receiver of the bits and pieces of this. How am I going to glue this on here? Shall we try the glue stick? Let's try the glue. I need to throw that out. Try the glue stick. I saw you move. I don't think I didn't see you move. I totally saw that. I'm on to you. I spotted it a mile away. Don't be sneaking off. Glue, glue. Any glue stick will probably work here pretty much, but you know, get yourself a good one. Find your happy glue stick. 
<clears throat> there we go. Okay. Where are you? You know, I have this green stuff. I'm put it there. Okay, why not? I'm just sort of piecemealing this together. Don't know what it is. I'm calling it collage at this point. But just making an artistic page. I mean, not everything has to have purpose, meaning, or obvious usage. Like things can just be little oddities in here. And that's a okay. Yeah, it is. It's good. <laughs> she she declared. Um, here's a little piece. We'll put this little piece on. Oh, it's tearing as we speak because it's wet paper. Well, let's see how far we get. We use the thumb maneuver. Sometimes we'll get lucky with that one. Doesn't tear the paper as much. And this is wet paper I'm working with. Okay, and it look very nice up there in the corner. Yes, there we go. We have that. It's very good. Oh, it's not sticking. There we go. I, eh, okay, there we go. We might have a little more glue down there, but we'll just let it rest at the moment. Here's some of this. Boy, are we not wasting a thing. Here's a nice little piece of red something. All right. So somebody was asking me, what can you do with these little odd pieces of scraps that we get? Whoop, come get back on the page. You can make these little odd collages. You can make them into a house. You can make them into a design if you want to do that. You know, if you must. Or you can just do a random collage poo. There's nothing wrong with a random collage poo. And sometimes things that happen randomly in life are, are the prettiest. So, you know, the way the paint splatters on the paper or um, the way the paper tore, something like that. That looks weird. Okay. <laughs> I just had to fix that. There. Looks much better now. Oh, yes. Worlds apart. Millennia. Okay. All right. Co-mingling the colors here a little bit. So I have a little green here. All right, let's do that. It looks like a Christmas page, doesn't it? All right, I'm not done yet, okay? Just, you got to work with me here. Give me a second. I'm going to take it one step further after I end up gluing all these little crazy pieces of paper down. All right. Nope. I'll get rid of some of that. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. I think we're going to call that Dunsies. Now we're going to try and do something floral on top of it because right now it looks like a bloody mess. Okay, so we're going to have to tune it down. How are we going to tune it down? Well, a couple of things we can do is we can paint over it. I know, it's kind of crazy. But what I'm going to do is like a color that's going to knock it down a bit because it seems a little bit, you know what I mean, in your face. It's like in my face Christmas and it's not a Christmas journal. So I'm going to have to like take the green and red down a little bit. So I'm going to take this big fat fluffy brush. The wet it. Okay. We take some El Cheapo paint and pick a color. I think I'm going to take. Hmm. Oh, I don't know. Uh, oh. Maybe the yellow? Let's try the yellow. I don't know, I just want the yellow for some reason. Yeah, like a yellow wash. Make it look like really washy, wetty. Wetty wash. Okay. Now, you know, you're like, what is she doing? Oh my God, this is crazy. I'm like saturating the paper on here, knocking it down a little bit. If I don't get where I want, I'm going to keep going. Yeah, until something becomes of this page. Will she take it to the bitter end? Okay, that's not bad. It's not bad. Let's let it dry. But I think I'm going to come in with some intense pink. That's what I'm going to do. That's going to soften it. Maybe I'm going to make some flowers on this weird background. Um, more pink. Oh, it's got a little teal. It's all right. I don't mind the teal. Oh, enough pink. Actually, finally using up these, these, well, I've had these forever, forever in a day. 
a little wet out here. Okay, but that's okay. I don't know why, but okay, maybe maybe I'm just gonna do a wash with the paint. Oh, look at that! Oh, now we're talking. I just knocked it down into spring. We have just left the Christmas zone, and we are now into spring. Look at that. Probably should have backed this with something, but did she? No, no, she didn't. Okay, we're gonna do it now. Look at that's cool on that side. Look how pretty that is. Oh my god, that's so pretty. It should be like illegal pretty. Now I want to do some splatter. Yeah. We're just, we're going off the map here. I don't know what's going on. I'm going to try white. I don't think it's going to work with white, but we'll try it. Okay. Trying the white, trying the white. Getting lots of white, whitey, white, white. I feel like it's not going to be white enough. No matter what I'm going to do, it's just going to blend into the background. Let's see. Softening, softening. This is just a, a piece of like parchment paper, tissue paper. Not super thick. I'm pushing its little envelope here. Okay, giving it some splatters. Oh, that's really pretty. Ah, look at that. I like that a lot. Okay, maybe one more time. The white. Oh, oh, not too much, not too much. More pigment, more pigment. And if you wanted to catch those little dots before they all blend together, you got to blow dry it. Blow dry, blow dry, blow dry. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay, what now? What would happen if I came in with this? This is not sharp at all. Nothing would happen because it's not sharp at all. And if I do anything to this page, it's probably going to tear. So we're going to do something to this page. Of course we are. This is my envelope, and I'm pushing it. <laughs> All right, so let's see. I feel like I want this to be like a little pot. I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm going to define it as a pot. Mm-hmm. Pot. And then out of here goes this lovely flower. I don't know if any of this stuff is going to stick. But we're going to try. And then there's going to be another posy. I'll come up here. Oh, yes. Yes, we see the posies now coming out. In this very altered, uh, odd background. Okay, this is really mushy. Mushy, mushy. This all has to dry. So I will have to show it to you tomorrow after it dries or the next time the video comes, which will be soon. Um... Okay, we got some flowers rocking there. Um, and I don't know, is this like a broken piece in the pot? It could be. Okay, let's just, just do some random grass-like stuff under here. And this could be a small pot. It's like a little baby pot beside it. Yeah, and then we have one little amazing flower growing here. Put a big dot in the center. So we have some continuity going through the artwork. We see the symbols of the little dots in the middle of the flowers. And then we have some unified elements of the artwork. That's like a crumpled mess there. But I think it's going to look cool when it all dries. And uh, then I might seal the page just to give it that, that last little, you know what I mean, that little, little, little you know, because might, this might all peel off. I don't know. If it's going to peel off, I'll deal with it. I will seal it right now. I'm still having fun. Okay. There we go. These little curly things, they always help. The flowers look more flowery. Um, I don't know. I think that's pretty good. And I'll just do some excess here. Decorate this up a little bit more. And that's going to be, I don't know, I, th I think it's going to be a really cool page, but we're going to take a look at it when it's dry and see if it actually stays together. So there you go, folks. I hope you had fun. We don't need a lot in life, just a couple pieces of paper, maybe some pigment, maybe a pencil, a brush, and we're going to be just fine. So take care, everybody. Oh, oh, hello. You want some? You, yeah, you, he's right here. Yeah, Mr. You know, I am been held back in journalism school has something to say. 
Hello everybody, it's Sunshine, Cub Pup Reporter being held back here because of, um, you know, things happened. But anyway, um, I would like to say that I remain unscathed. I am not pink and purple and green and red and all those things because Mother's been playing yet again in the paints. And I can't get him, her to put them down. She keeps playing and playing and playing in the paints and then she turns paper into paintbrushes and we don't know what's going on at all. You know, she's lost her mind completely. We hope you had fun. We love you. And mwah. We'll see you next time. Happy crafting. And this is my nose. Okay. Sunshine out. <laughs> Your nose is looking very good. Yes. <laughs> you know, as far as noses go, I, I have no complaints. Thank you, everybody. The, um, my videos come out Mondays, Wednesdays, Saturdays, Sundays, 7 a.m. Eastern Time. I have an Etsy shop. If you are interested in old and interesting papers, I have something called a fondle, which has a 100 plus pieces of antique ledger checks receipts postcards black and white photos interesting and an antique and vintage book pages music pages dictionary pages all sorts of fun things many many more things um and free priority mail shipping is included with that it's called a fundle with an f um i have digikits which are printable downloadable images if you like those then you can get those um in different themes such as flowers botanical victorian butterflies dragonflies you name it over 250 60 themes um, you can, um, save them onto your computer or your phone or your tablet and then print them out as many times as you like. Also, um, if you don't have a printer or, um, you don't like to print, I will print them out for you. It's called my print and mail service. So for one flat fee, I will print, um, 10 digi kits, which will get you 50 printed pages because there's five pages in each digi kit on nice lightweight cardstock. Free priority mail shipping is included with that. You don't need to buy each individual um, uh, digi kit. Um, you just buy the print and mail and then send me a list of the names of the digi kits, the 10 that you want, to pam at thepaperoutpost.com. Uh, I only need the first, <clears throat> excuse me, two or three words. Or you can email it. No, or you can send it to Etsy message. Yes. <clears throat> I have an Amazon shopper if you're looking for favorite tools and supplies. I do my best to put links in there um, to help you find them. And also, um, what else? Oh, you can find me on social media, Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, Facebook group, and now TikTok uh, for shorts and other fun regular videos. I have a podcast. If you like, um, <clears throat> if you're interested in getting more thoughts on junk journaling, paper crafting, life of a crafter, or answering your crafty questions from YouTube, uh, I address a lot of those on my podcast. And you can also watch video podcasts any day of the week on Spotify. And remember most of all that fun can be simple and create with reckless abandon. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.